the royal couple are on a three-day trip to the Caribbean island to help build British-Cuban ties They had a ticket to ride around the streets of Havana today as the heir to the throne took the wheel of a 66-year-old MGTD Camilla joined the 71-year-old as they traveled around the John Lennon Park in Havana, where the Beatles' classic Yellow Submarine was blasted from a nearby bar Read more, Prince Charles and Camilla get into the Cuba way of life as they drive vintage car royal bombshell, how Charles will be a different king due to Camilla royal rebel, Prince Harry's shock joke about the queen they then got out to pose next to a statue of John Lennon, but Camilla needed some help stepping out while trying to hold a parasol She joked to onlookers, you try getting out of that elegantly Charles also said to the crowds who watched, the one I was driving is the most beautiful car It has an incredibly powerful accelerator It is incredibly close to the brake, so you have to be careful you don't press the wrong one Prince Charles and Camilla also met with Cuban President Miguel Diaz Canel during their Cuban trip They met in the presidential palace of the revolution before walking around the city's colonial center They also unveiled a statue of British playwright Shakespeare and visited the dance studio of former royal ballet star Carlos Acosta Fighting back, Prince Charles steps into boxing ring after criticism Royal rejection, Prince Charles refuses to do this on Cuban tour British Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt told his Cuban equivalent in a phone call on Monday the aim of the trip is to boost cooperation He also called for Cuba to play a more constructive role in resolving the Venezuelan crisis Mr. Diaz Canal wrote in a tweet on Monday, we are honored to receive them and show them with pride the nation we are The visit expresses the good state of our relations. The royals are currently on a 12-day tour around the Caribbean They chose Cuba as one of the islands to visit at the request of the British government They are the first royals to visit the communist-run state amid the USA trying to isolate Cuba from foreign business But the Prince of Wales has visited owners of several private businesses that have flourished over the last decade since Cuba started opening more of its state-dominated economy to free enterprise